quite a big statement to hit us up at the start, but oh, I think no. the talent revamp could 100% uh, basically save World of Warcraft. My uh, reasoning for that... Okay, you're going to have to... Yep. yep. No, I knew it was a big statement. Yep. It could. And I said coulds, okay? So it yep. could be shit, but it also could basically fucking save the game. Uh, right. The reason why I think that, if I think about the patch cadence of WoW, it's kind of ground to a halt. Oh, it's slow. and and I think about if I think about uh, a lot of these recent uh, patches, we've had like half baked systems, and it's mostly been borrowed power stuff. How much development time did shards of domination take up? Seven and years. Imagine if that shard of domination dev time just went into further polishing classes. Hell yeah! You know, just it all just went into removing Kaiten from <laughs> Samurais. <laughs> Uh, but you know what I mean, right? It, it would be better. And if the new expansion was just thinking about how do we make a few cool talents, one or two cool abilities, maybe some new class abilities, and that's it. And for the rest of the patch cycle, they don't have to worry about domination shards and this and that and that. And all they have to think about is, are our classes cool? Is the new tier set cool? And that's it. How much more simple does that make World of Warcraft to develop? How much more simple does that make our classes to balance? I mean, can you imagine, imagine, you know, doing like a little, you could probably put together a simulation. I'm not going to say it's easy, but yeah. you could simulate the basics of a spec quickly enough. Mm -hmm. Think For about sure. the amount of calculations that you have once you add in, you know, sure, there's a new ability. And then which of the three soul binds? Mm -hmm. And then which of the three soul bind trees? And then what of all the covenant or conduits? And then what tier set are you using? And then what primary legendary are you using? But then what about the combination of the primary legendary and the secondary legendary, which then of course depends on your covenant? Yeah. That's so complex. How the, f I'm how sure, the fuck do you balance yeah, that? I'm sure the ACLs for SimCraft get completely insane. And that's why it takes so long for them to upgrade, like update every, I mean, I'm sure the people working on them put in a lot of effort, but it, it has started to take quite a while longer for them to like, be updated on like blood metal sims and stuff like that because the acls just take a while to figure out but yeah. yeah so that would fundamentally i think allow blizzard to make classes better and it would simplify the patch process and it would mean that yeah we don't have a new patch and we just get new feature domination shards customize your tier set Sweet. and sure people can't get excited for that but what if it means that classes are more balanced the raid fights are a bit more fun and the, those developers can work on like the patch after this patch, or maybe even work on the next expansion at the same time, yeah. because it's all more simple. Uh, so, and then the whole thing of like, look, what's going to happen when 11.0 comes out? Are you going to feel like, yeah, you're going to have uh, lower ratings for your secondary yeah. stats. That's it. Ah, here. Yeah, oh no, <laughs> we've got new stuff. Oh, whoopsies. Oh no, whatever will we do? Yeah, there's no... Oh no, I really liked my artifact weapon. Now it's gone. That whole problem's gone. So I think about all well, this and it's that, I wouldn't problem, say that whole problem's gone because if they do give us cool stuff, it does ha like if they do want to give us cool stuff, it does have to fit in the talent tree and it does have to impact overall player power. So if it's like if you're complete, they have to find a way to complete you and add more, which is currently a problem. Like even F14 facing that now we're hitting level 90, it's like they can't give really like super meaningful change to how things work a lot of the time they most they really did was for a lot of jobs is just here's an extra button at the end of your combo that feels really cool and obviously you know going into the next expansion they can't just do that again i guess yeah but i could uh, i i gen I, I generally agree even like the you talking about the example of the um the raid balancing and the raid stuff I really wonder just how much time, especially looking at like the recent Race to World first and how that went. I'm really interested in seeing how much time they could save with the balance system in terms of like, okay, well, a raid, the raid team can make, you know, 10, 11 bosses a patch. Can they make 13 if they can balance every boss 20%, 30% faster? Are they more well rested because they don't have to sit up and watch the rest of the world first 24 hours a day going, oh my fuck, why is that broken? Oh shit, that's not going to work. Yeah. I'm going to have to take, is this mathematically impossible? How much variance do I have to work with in terms of how much they actually have? You know, how much uh, power the mythic guilds have? 
it's like, can they just go, okay, well, we'll reuse a bunch of assets, design a fight. There's a one boss raid. Will it, will basically, will the talent tree system give us one boss raids? That's what I want to know. Fundamentally, I think that's the part that could really, uh, even ignoring all the stuff that it could do itself, <clears throat> is that the stuff that we're able to see as a result of this? Obviously, that is just complete baseless speculation, but it kind of tracks a little bit. It tracks, yeah. So, I just think that would be incredible. Another nice thing, too, is mm -hmm. just the feeling of starting a new character and, you know, perhaps you're somebody who's not played a class or spec before. Yeah. That experience of starting a new character, leveling up, getting those talent points, and actually growing into the class. Uh, yeah. You know, gr just growing into it, I think, more than the current talent system lets you. I think that's also a really nice thing for new players. Yep. So, I mean, I, like, I, I don't know about new players, because I've not been a new player in any spec in a long time, but even the idea, like, what was it? Uh, I can't remember if it, was an, if it was an interview or a blue post or something, but they announced they would, you know, throw up talent calculators well before, like, even the alpha or beta. Yeah. Just so all, like, the um, add-on developers can kind of start seeing how it works and pe people can play with them and see how, like, their current spec fits into it. And it's like, th that is going to be a big day for me. I am just going to sit there for like the entirety of, outside of work. I'm going to sit for like the entirety of that day and just click things and look at them all and think about stuff. And I'm not even that like hardcore player. I just think all of that spec design is really fucking cool. Yeah. So I just think there's such a great opportunity here, basically. And uh, we'll, it'll take a while to feel the effects because I think this could just improve the core development of the game. Yep. It's pretty big.